Yus Sheikh Shah Jahan. He also hit out at the India Alliance for maintaining a stoic silence on the horror of Sandesh Khali. It is Prime Minister Modi versus Mamta Banerjee in State of War Bengal. In his first visit to the state this year, Prime Minister ripped apart the Mamta Banerjee government on Sandesh Khali, accusing the TMC government of shielding Sheikh Shahja. TMC ke neta ne Sandesh Khali me behno betiyo ke saath. दूस साहस की सारी हदे पार कर दी जब संदेश खाली की बहनों ने अपनी आवाज बुलंद की ममता दीदी से मदद मांगी उन्हें बदले में क्या मिला मुख्यमंत्री दीदी ने बंगाल सरकार ने TMC के नेता को बचाने के लिए जो भी कर सकते थे पूरी शक्ति लगा दी। It is clear that for the BJP, Sandesh Khali will be the issue number one in the run-up to the upcoming general elections. क्या माताओं बहनों के साथ जो हुआ है, उसका बदला लेंगे कि नहीं लेंगे? लेंगे कि नहीं लेंगे? हर चोट का जवाब वोट से देना है। The Prime Minister also launched a no holds barred attack on India Alliance, slamming the opposition silence on the Sandesh Khali horror. इंडी गठबंधन के बड़े-बड़े नेता संदेश खाली पर आंख, कान, मुंह गांधीजी को जो तीन मंदर देने हैं। उन तीन बंदरों की तरह आंख कान नाक मुंह सब ये बंद करके बैठे हैं। Corruption charges on TMC नेतास was another point of attack mounted by the Prime Minister. TMC नेताओं को भर भर के पैसे मिलते हैं गरीब और मध्यम वर्ग की जमीन पर कब्जा करना हो, चीट फंड योजनाओं में घोटाला करना हो, टीएमसी के मंत्रियों के घर से नोटों के ढेर निकल रहे हैं, नोटों के ढेर आपने इतने नोटों के ढेर देखे नहीं देखे, देखे नहीं देखे, क्या कभी पहले नोटों का इतने बड़े ढेर देखे थे कभी? The stage is set for big Bengal showdown. It is Khela Hobe this election season. Bureau Report, India Today. So I want to take you through the results of the Sea Water Tracker uh, on West Bengal. Remember, this poll was done specifically in West Bengal. So it's not a pan India or a HSM poll, it's a West Bengal only poll. So I'll take you through the results to the first question. Can the BJP use Sandesh Khali in its favour? 48% of the overall respondents say yes. 40% of the overall respondents say no. Amongst uh, TMC voters, 33% say yes. That's a big number. 33.7% saying yes, Sandesh Khali can be used by the BJP to its advantage. This is amongst TMC voters. Naturally, the BJP voters will think it can be used to their favour, but largely even one-third of the TMC voters seem to think that Sandesh Khali can be used to the BJP's favour. Uh, so has Sandesh Khali damaged Mamta Banerjee's reputation? Uh, let's take a look at the overall numbers. 60% of the overall uh, people say yes, it has damaged Mamta Banerjee. 22% say somewhat damaged, 13.5% say no, it hasn't damaged. Now, look amongst TMC voters. I think that's most important because obviously, can TMC voters uh, lose their motivation or the extent of fervor they have towards the current chief minister? That's one question. The other question is, of course, amongst the left and Congress voters, what's the mood? Because that vote also can switch. Uh, to the BJP. So, amongst the left voters and Congress voters also, 
58.7% of left voters and 34.3% of Congress voters say it has damaged Mamata Banerjee's image. Uh, and that is a very big number and something that Mamata Banerjee would naturally be quite concerned about. Remember, it's a sample. So this is not pan uh, West Bengal poll on the basis of which you can do uh, a full-fledged projection of every seat. But this gives you a broad sense of a stratified sample in terms of how voters in West Bengal look at these issues. Who benefits most from the Sandesh Khali issue? Uh, no prizes there for guessing that a majority of the respondents, almost 56% think uh, that it's the BJP that benefits the most. And that is obviously quite clear. Even the Trinamool voters, 42% of Trinamool voters also think that it's the BJP that benefits most from the Sandesh Khali horror. Does Sheikh Shah Jahan have TMC patronage? In response to this question, 71% of overall respondents say that he has uh, patronage of the Trinamool. Amongst the Trinamool voters, 51% of Trinamool voters say that Sheikh Shah Jahan has uh, support of the Trinamool. I want to go across to Manajit Mandal, who's a Trinamool leaning sympathizer. Also with us is Dr. Shatrupa, who's the spokesperson for the BJP. Uh, Jayanto Ghoshal joins us, a well-known political analyst out of uh, West Bengal. I want to go across to Manojit Mondal first. Manojit, yes. you're a TMC supporter. Half the TMC yeah. voters, according to uh, the responses in this C voter poll, seem to think that uh, Sheikh Shah Jahan has uh, Trinamool support. He also, they also accept that the BJP benefits from Sandesh Khali. And they're also of the view, and this is TMC voters that I'm talking about, that it's uh, the BJP that benefits from Sandesh Khali and that this has damaged Mamta Banerjee's image. This is not good news for Didi or the Trinamool. No, I, 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 I'm quite certain, Rahul, that this uh, particular poll has uh, was conducted before the arrest of Shah Jahan Sheikh. No, this wasn't. So this was done after the arrest of Shah Jahan. This is done between yesterday so and today. Is, oh, yesterday and today. Yeah. No, I think the after effect of that arrest should be taken into account. Uh, yes, uh, there could be some issues in that particular region. But uh, in the long run, how far that will uh, damage the image of the party, I think that is uh, that is yet to be decided because we believe, as, as the people of common people of West Bengal, that the, the entire truth has not come out yet. That can only come out when some degree of investigation has been done into this very serious allegations made by uh, some of uh, the, the women out there. Uh, apart from that, the, the allegations that obviously are being addressed even by the party, you know, some kind of uh, misuse of the contract of that lease land, which you talk about, which we were talking about yesterday regarding fishing ponds and, and so on and so forth. Those issues are being addressed by the party as well. If you look at the, the activities of the parties, many big ministers are going there. They are trying to build the, you know, rebuild the confidence among the people. The local MLA of Sandesh Khali, or Nejat, I should be saying, he is uh, moving door to door. Uh, the police, the big police officers are also going there, including the DGP of police. They are, they are going there to rebuild the confidence of the people. I think gradually, gradually, people are also coming to terms with it. I think the final nail was obviously the arrest of the, or the, 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 the men accused and subsequent uh, suspension of that person from the party. I think that uh, the, the results should be uh, shown in 15, 20 days. And if okay. you take that poll... So, Dr. Shatrupa, Manujit Mandal's hope else. is that this poll suffers from what's called the recency bias in statistics that because uh, this poll just happened when this issue was at its peak, therefore even Trinamool voters seem perturbed. He says, give it some time, we're doing damage control. If the same poll were to be done 20 days later, by then people would not be as angry and Mamta Banerjee would have brought the situation under control. That's the Trinamool's best hope. Dr. Shatrupa. Uh, Rahul, good evening. I just want to point out a few things. In fact, I was smiling to myself when uh, Monajit was analyzing. Yes, the arrest of Shah Jahan will have an effect in the sense that Look at Shah Jahan's body language. I think everybody in West Bengal, all over India, know that this was an arranged, you know, kind of a uh, 
portion as a setting, sort of. The, the way he was arrested and the, he was walking in like a VIP with the police behind him. Generally, when police arrest anybody, they grab him, they manhandle him like they do to our leader. But in this case, it was a completely different thing. And in fact, from today, there have, we've been re receiving reports that the CID is trying, uh, CIB, uh, yeah, they're trying to uh, <clears throat> interrogate him. And this man blatantly refuses to answer and says that the top people know. Who the top people are? Obviously, his bosses, as in uh, Didi, as you say, his Pishi, probably. Anyway, now coming back to the next thing that he said, that the entire truth hasn't yet come out. Well, the CID is trying to take out the entire truth, but Shah Jahan refuses. And of course, Punajit Mondol uh, and the rest of his party still maintain that the women of Shandish Pali have been lying, which is something that is not going down very well with the women of Shandish Pali, mind you. And as far as the transfer of land that he's talking about, that uh, yes, uh, you know, Mamta is uh, getting the land transferred immediately. Let me tell you, Rahul, that the land that was taken from them was full of paddy and crops which were just about ready to be harvested. The land which is now getting transferred is full of saline water and is of absolutely no use to them. So the entire socio-economic fabric of Sandesh Pali has been ruined okay. by one man and his henchmen. Now, I want to go across to Yashwan Deshmukh. Was, yes. one, one second. The last, th the last two things that he said was, one thing he forgot to mention, I will add, yes, there were two very big ministers, the irrigation minister and the fire minister. When? And they played. They, you know, they played a call. In the Bangla, we call this long talk. They played the call. They sang a few songs and they came back. Not that they did very much. And to top it all off, the MP of Bashirhat, which is uh, the Shandesh Kali is a part of that. She has absolutely no idea of what is going on. And she claims that there is a 174, which is happening. And she's forgotten, obviously, that there is nothing called 174. There is a 144, which is there on Shandesh Pali. Okay. So, so now, Shashwan Deshmukh, two things can happen. One, this poll betrays deep anxiety within Trinamool supporters as well on the damage that the Sandesh Kali episode can cause to Mamta Banerjee. Uh, in the Lok Sabha elections and the potential advantage to the BJP. The Trinamool though hopes that because this poll has been done at the peak of this crisis, when he's just been arrested, the Prime Minister is in Bengal, and now Mamta Banerjee has begun ragard action and is trying damage control. If you were to do the same poll three weeks later, by then the anger levels and the concern levels would subside and that Mamta would be able to bring the situation under control. What's your best sense? Well, Rahul, I think there is merit in both the arguments. Uh, I mean, that's the point of the tracker, that we sense the mood today and we'll keep on tracking it. I mean, we'll certainly uh, ask the same questions again after a week, another week, another week and see if the impact is still there. However, these are the election times. So, uh, what I feel, uh, this is an issue with BJP is not likely to let it go. And this is something which will be kept on the pot boiler. So obviously, this uh, uh, mere assertion or mere hope that this will automatically get silenced, automatically get down on the back burner, that is likely to happen simply because this is, these are the election times and BJP is unlikely to let that happen. Now, the question is, how much BJP is going to uh, kind of uh, take it forward, number one? How much uh, in that way that Congress, uh, Trinamool Congress can go on a defensive? That's another thing. What I can see from the data that, number one, that probably what the BJP wanted this uh, this particular uh, incident and, and the politics after that, that it has galvanized, certainly galvanized the BJP's rank and file, which was kind of demoralized after the last assembly election, even though they went from 3 to 77. But post-assembly election, there was a lull over there as far as the opposition politics were concerned. So that is very clear because if you look into the BJP voters uh, numbers, they are into 80s and 70s and that kind of thing. However, at the same time, in our MOTN of India today, we could also sense that the gap between uh, Trinamool and the BJP is only a couple of points. And if this issue manages to dent even few points from Trinamool Congress further, or on the other hand, if it galvanizes the residual left in the Congress voters in favor of the BJP, even though Trinamool doesn't lose any vote on it, but the repolarization of the opposition vote, that is something which should and would and must bother uh, Okay, Jayanto Ghoshal, what's your reading of these numbers? 
Is this something that Didi understands uh, has damaged her image and credibility in the eyes of the West Bengal voters? Has this issue peaked because the BJP will try its best to ensure this issue stays alive? Yeah. Rahul, I think that this situation, Didi is also understanding, Chief Minister is understanding that there is a potential advantage for BJP, no doubt of it, because that is the ground reality, because it is not only for that particular Sandesh Khali constituency, that particular area, because that area, I today actually I was calculating and I was observing that 48% uh, uh, Muslim population. And, but this Sandesh Kali has created a adverse milieu for TMC in the whole state. It's not only the Sandesh Kali. But you know, the only one thing that Naren Modi is very popular leader and today I have seen the crowd, woman participation, it is unusual. And you have to compare BJP's rally, Modi's rally in West Bengal in the context of the West Bengal's earlier rallies, earlier, not with UP or other uh, states. Where so BJP what's changed between his earlier rallies and now in West Bengal, yeah. Jayanta, what's changed? It's a huge, it's a major success story. But there is a but, that caveat is that Mamuta Banerjee, I believe that very smart politician, very aggressive and always combative. Not, she will not go for the defense. And that's why, 10th, she has announced there will be a brigade rally, and they, she has named that uh, it's a it's a Jana Garchan. Because today it's a Vijay Sankal uh, of BJP's name is Vijay Sankal, and now in the women's participation and Modi ji's uh, speech on women, particularly the Sandesh Khali, that women uh, vote is also very important because today also Prime Minister has said that Raja Ramon Rai. He, uh, uh, if he is here, he will be ashamed with this. I mean, this uh, woman's uh, uh, position in Bengal. So, Mamta has today. She has said that now the International Women's Day is coming on eight, but eight is Shivaratri. So, seventh, I will go for a Padayatra only with women. So, this is typical Mamta Banerjee's uh, smart politics, and that's why I I I want to wait to see. Because BJP's advantage is completely, I agree. And there are multiple factors, misrule, corruption, Shahjahan. Today also Kunal Ghosh has said a lot of things that can BJP can use that also, internal, a uh, lot of issues in TMC. But still, Mamta Banerjee, what your survey is saying, that Mamta Banerjee has taken money from Shahjahan. And that can be misrule. And I don't know, that cannot be uh, the statement of the Chief Minister because you are the head of the state. But she has beneficiary, financial beneficiary. And this uh, this racket, sex racket, she used to know. This, I don't think that still the majority of the West Bengal people, they don't think. Okay, that so let's take a look at that question. Which party is more sympathetic to land grabbers and criminals? This question was asked as part of this poll. For what it's worth, here are the responses. Uh, BJP, 19.6% say overall respondents, 50% say the Trinamool, 12% say left, and 2.7% say the Congress, 15% say they don't know, can't say. Now, the counter to this Yashwan Deshmukh is very naturally, since the Trinamool is in power, the anti-incumbency will be against them, and therefore, 50% plus of the respondents think that it is the Trinamool which is more sympathetic to land grabbers and criminals which means that there is manifest anti-incumbency and the BJP is looking to tap into that. Well, Rahul, you know, the unfortunate part of the West Bengal politics is that the 2011 verdict of Pariborton, uh, it resulted in change of the person who sat on the chair. That's fine. But the entire uh, mechanism of power or the... Uh, criminal power nexus which was on the ground, that did not change. Somehow, that nexus simply changed the political and political allegiance to whichever party came into power in this case, which is the TMC. So, uh, uh, Sandesh Khali is not just about uh, one person or the communal angle which the obviously BJP is trying to play, but it's not just about that thing, Rahul. Sandesh Khali is way beyond that. Sandesh Khali is way Amen. beyond... Just the just the rape or the 
it's about the culture of political violence it's about the culture of the political patronage of the criminal nexus and the violence at large which was earlier patronized by the left front for 30 long years oh. and unfortunately on the ground it got shifted lock stock and barrel under the uh, you know uh, perceived as under the uh, manajit uh, mandal do you want to respond to what yashwant is saying it's very clear there is anti incumbency and 50% uh, of the overall respondents think that it's the Trinamool that's more sympathetic to land grabbers and to criminals. I think uh, three years back, we were debating on the same issue before the assembly elections, along with this but person. that was an assembly very... election which is localized. The BJP didn't so have the I strength think, to think, win. Uh, uh, this Rahul, is a Lok Sabha election. It's different. Yeah. If, even then, you had 10 years of in incumbency, anti-incumbency factor. Even then, the TMC got more votes than it got in 2016 more number of sins than it got in 2016. That was the real anti-incumbency because that was the state election. Now it is anti-incumbency against Mr. Modi. And look at look at I mean, the issues, look at the banks, look at BHL, the, you know, connecting people. I, I used to see those advertisements even 10 years before. What is BHL? LIC is being divested. Banks are mar getting merged. Banks are getting looted and Modi's friends are living in London. People can understand that. Recently, you stay, I still remember this very fascinating image of BHNL being on the screen, reconnecting India. What is that? It used to be the, one of the biggest companies in, in Asia. What is that BHNL? I want to know. People can understand, Rahul, what is what. I mean, it's, it, and that's why they need Mandir, Masjid, CBI, ED, income tax to win elections. I mean, when, when Mr. Modi was talking about corruption, who was sitting in the front bench? Mr. Subhandi Odhikari. Who has who was shown by BJP as taking money in 2016? Okay, Shatrupa, respond to that. When you talk about amassing wealth, it was Mr. Subandhu Dekani who that you're who looking to strength. polarize because that's the only wicket that you think you have going for you, which is why it's the last trope of the BJP in the hope of trying to do better in West Bengal. No, Rahul, uh, allow me to, you've shown two tables, allow me to just share one column of one table. Uh, I have with me uh, a data which talks about 2014 Lok Sabha results in West Bengal and 2018, 19 Lok Sabha in West Bengal, where in 2014 ST vote, we had got 11%, 2019 we put 62%. Muslim, 2% voted for uh, in 2014, 4% voted in um, 2019. Women, 12% voted for us in West Bengal in 2014 and 38% uh, uh, voted for us in 2019. The reason why I'm reading out all this is today even the Prime Minister in his speech mentioned that pe people are going to vote for us and not only because uh, I mean, um, Yashwanji has of course pointed out the polarization factor but we are not polarizing Sandesh Khali. We are just saying that uh, like the Prime Minister said even the Muslims will vote. Of course the women of West Bengal like all over India will. The, what he said, what the Prime Minister said was very, very, uh, uh, I, I would say very poignant. Uh, because he said that even the Muslims will vote for us. Okay. This coming from a party which is being always accused of being anti-Muslim, uh, the Prime Minister is saying this, I think, is huge. And, and also the happen. fact is that I this is the one state where the life. state government was hoping to put up a one strong life. fight. Sandesh Khali has uh, muddied the waters for the Trinamool, given the BJP an opportunity life. to see if the lotus can bloom even further. And that is what now puts Mamta Banerjee on the defensive and a rampaging BJP going in for the jugular. Let's see what happens next. Has this issue peaked? Can the BJP keep it alive? Will it start to taper? We'll track all of that and more. Uh, this is where I wrap up the political stock exchange for this week. I look forward to seeing you uh, next time. Thank you very much for tuning in. Goodbye, goodbye.